from United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. At 4.53 in the afternoon of January the 12th, a major earthquake hit the small island nation of Haiti. The impact of the 7.0 magnitude quake, the worst in the region in 200 years, was devastating. Everything was just destroyed. People had died and there were mothers carrying their dead bodies of their children. UN staff members Monica Albertini and Louis Germain saw the disaster firsthand. They were all in the streets and uh, their houses had collapsed and uh, they were scared. There was fear in their eyes, in their faces, and people were screaming and people were desperate. Early estimates are that over 300,000 people were injured or killed. Reports indicate that one third of the country's nine million people were directly affected. The streets of the capital, Port-au-Prince, were filled with survivors who set up improvised tents amid the chaos. My house was destroyed. We are sleeping in the street. We have no home to go to, and we have no money or anything to eat. The lack of heavy equipment hampered early efforts to rescue many survivors trapped under the rubble of collapsed buildings. Haitians, desperate to find loved ones, began to dig by hand, stone by stone. The tragedy caught worldwide media attention. One day after the quake, international rescue teams started to arrive. We brought heavy digging equipment, technical equipment, and search dogs. We have doctors and nurses and medical material. International aid began pouring in, but the logistics of the operation were complex and transportation difficult. Roads were blocked, and the distribution of food and water was hindered by desperate crowds and isolated looting incidents. Haiti, one of the poorest countries in the world, was especially vulnerable to a natural disaster. The majority of Haitians live on less than $2 a day in precarious housing with scant access to basic services. NGOs and... Uh, Salvano Briseno, uh, director of the UN's Disaster Reduction Agency. The major problem, of course, is that Haiti is extremely poor. It's, it's poverty that is at the core of all of these disasters. Foreign nationals flooded Port-au-Prince's international airport, while Haitians themselves started a mass exodus away from the capital in search of food, shelter and security. It will be better. When we get to the countryside, we can breathe fresh air again. Port-au-Prince has a stench because too many people have died. In the capital, recovery operations supported by the UN attempted to rehabilitate basic infrastructure and jumpstart the economy by hiring local workers. Community committees sprang up throughout the city. Their members banded together to share food supplies, locate the families of lost children, and provide security. We organize everything in common. If I have something, I bring it. We put our food together and share the meal. Maybe we all get one bite of food per day. Fritz Jean-Baptiste and Jean Anthony are local committee members. Today is the first time I ate something in three days because I don't have any money. The UN issued a flash appeal to donors for food, water and sanitation, shelter and health. Thousands of survivors, including a large number of children, are still in need of medical attention, water and food. Former US President Bill Clinton is the UN special envoy to Haiti. I'm really encouraged at the way the UN and the United States and the government of Haiti have begun working together on the ground. I personally believe that they're going to be given the opportunity to, in effect, uh, reimagine their country. Slowly, Haiti is starting to show the first signs of a return to normality. Many hope that the disaster may offer the country an opportunity to solve its long-standing social problems, provided the international community doesn't forget Haiti.
we have a proverb here in Haiti uh, called uh, Demon Gemon, which means behind mountains, there are mountains, which means that for every challenge that you find in life, there is another greater challenge that, that's waiting for you. They will try to deal with it as best as they possibly can because that is, in fact, uh, the way of life for Haitians. Mm -hmm. This report was produced by Camillo Frere for the United Nations.